All right, welcome everybody to the next episode of the Category Mistake. I'm your host, Richard Mariello, and today, well, today is weird like it always is for me. Uh, today I have a bunch of people in my family who are hanging out with me and thinking this would be the best time to enjoy podcasts and learn how to do it. Uh, so I'm, of course, doing this also on Twitch on the Dad91D page slash Category Mistake. My wife is all excited. She got a pumpkin spice latte today, so she's doing a little lap dance. <laughs> so, um, welcome. Sorry, Thank you all for joining us. So today we're going to talk about, of course, New Year's Eve. So we're going to talk about New Year's Eve. And what do we enjoy about New Year's Eve? And what do we enjoy about 2021, which there wasn't a lot to enjoy. There's a few things to enjoy. And what we're looking forward to in 2022. Now, for me, <clears throat> I'm not going to go first. Because <laughs> I'm the host. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. So right next to me, she's already sitting here, so I'm going to make her talk, and she doesn't want to, so I'm going to do it anyway. Like I'm handing the microphone. This is Callie. Hello, Callie. How are you, Callie? Look, I'm good. How are I have you? a camera on a, on a spindle thing in my box, so I can spin it. Lazy Susan? It's a lazy Susan-ish, because we didn't buy it from Susan. <laughs> I don't think that any, the last lazy Susan- We had a lazy Bob food. once that we bought from Bob. Okay. So we called it a lazy Bob. <laughs> so we don't know who bought, who sold us this, this lazy turntable thing. We're going to call it a record player for the poor people. Okay? Yeah, okay. sake of the portal. <clears throat> so, Callie Winter. There Hi. she is. If, you can't, if, you're, if you're on the podcast, she's sitting next to me. If you're not on the podcast, well, you're watching me and you already know that she's next to me. So, whatever. Anyway, so Callie, 2021 yes. has been very adventurous for you, has it not? It has. What have you done this year? Uh, Give me a, a 47 second outtake. I moved to Utah for like two months. You became Mormon. I did not become How many husbands did you have? I had no husbands. How many sister wives did you have? A lot. Awesome. (laughs) That's another type of podcast. I don't have the ratings for that type of Twitch slash podcast, okay? That's for adult themed only, okay? So what'd you do in Utah? I worked in a national park. What was his name? (laughs) <laughs> the National Park's name was Zion. Why did you move to Utah? What was his because name? Because I thought, you know, why not adventure in life? And Jack... Jack phone? just put the phone right in front of the camera. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Now, Callie, what was his name? I didn't go out there for a guy. I went out there to find myself, actually. A guy. And who did you find? God. He... Okay, I'll give you that one even though I don't believe you fully. That's the guy to the, find. The, G-O, the OG guy. You know, the OG G-O-D. they had services in the park that I went to every Wednesday Shocking and Sunday. in a state that's Mormon had actual religious services. Yeah. When the state's you know, motto is, how many wives can you have? I okay. mean, probably. Probably. So... You're not in Utah now. No. We're not in Utah. Yes. I only have one wife, so we're not in Utah. Um, Jack only has one wife for today. Um, what? We'll check out tomorrow. He still has one. <laughs> That's for another another discussion. So why'd you move back here? Because I realized that Utah was not the move. Was not the move. <laughs> was not the move. So you came back here. So I came back here. And what do you do for work now? I work at the UPS store. The... UPS yes, store. Where I work with lovely Richard over here. Lovely. Don't call me lovely. That's like creepy. Yeah. Like, oh my god, she's like, oh crap. Okay. Ah. Alright. So you work with me. Yes. And other people. And other people. Now, do you like working in the UPS store? I do, besides one person. Well, that person doesn't count as a person, so it's fine. So, what are you doing with your life other than working at the UPS store? Uh, I spend it with friends or, you know, have family time with you and your wife and the siblings. And what do you do a lot of times at our family time at 7.30 to 8 o'clock at night? Watch Marvel movies. And you've watched a lot of Marvel movies. I have watched a lot of Marvel movies. What is your favorite one so far? Doctor Strange. Wow. Yeah. And Doctor Strange and the close, like, Thai one would be, um... Guardians 2. So what you're saying is you do a lot of drugs and you like movies that make you feel that way. Yes. I got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> got it. Because, you know, the two most psychedelic movies other than WandaVision, which is a show, not a movie, which she also has watched. She's uh, like, yeah. The lots and Dr. Strange are like, fabulous. That would be a terrible trip. Imagine like watching. tripping on shrooms. 
films while watching Doctor Strange. No, on WandaVision, you would be so confused. You wouldn't know what's... Yeah. yeah. They're black and white, now it's in color. Oh, wow, The color. head is spinning, the dog's on the ceiling. Why is Vision all of a sudden gay but pretending to be straight because he has a wife? Why? Is he gay? He no. is. No, but when they did the Brady Bunch... Mm-hmm. Wait, he was part of the Brady Bunch? No, but, but, dad, <laughs> but dad Brady was gay. Right, he was he was That's gay. right. But on the show, he had six kids and yeah. a wife, but you never saw them do anything. No, they no, didn't have a family kids. show. They never went, bow, chicka, wow, wow. That didn't come out to the How 80s. did she never get pregnant? On um, Lucy, she got pregnant. Yeah, she got NCS. See, day. I feel like they didn't get pregnant because, what? you know, in that time, the couples didn't sleep in the bed. Yes, together. they did. Lucy, Are you I sure? Love Lucy was before that. Yeah, I love Lucy. If she got out prego by Ricardo. Oh, that's true. Ricky, Ricardo, how you doing, Ricky? Then they had a, a uh, very messy divorce. It was only messy if you were one of those two people. Oh, true. Yes. I mean, I hurt me at none at all. It didn't. You all know what hurt me? What's that? that Betty White died today. <laughs> Way to date the episode. Oh, Betty White. I mean, what a woman. She was okay. She was amazing. What a gal. How many things have you seen Betty White in? A lot, actually. There's a quite a few movies I've seen her in. Name one. Golden Girls. That was on That's a movie. show. That's a show. That's a show. <laughs> um, what other <laughs> two movies? Oh, I can't think of the movies. This is only a 35 minute podcast. We can could make you, it an hour. Could you go faster? No. There are people right now going, oh my god, it's 2023, she's still talking. <laughs> probably. That's her probably guys feel like UPS. Her, 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 yeah. I like her. You know a single movie you. she's in? I know she's in movies, I just can't think of any off the top of my head. I really liked her in Lake Placid. What other movies is she in, Jack, since no. you're on your phone looking them up? I, didn't, I forgot she was in Lake Placid, but I remember that it was a good movie. There's nothing good about Lake Placid. Are you sure? Have you ever been to Lake Placid? No. It's a horrifying place. It's, it's kind of like Toilstown, but with less happiness. Oh. So kind of like Chernobyl? No, kind of like Utah. Oh. So understandable. Sure. And it's Chernobyl. I thought it was Chernobyl. Are you Russian? No. Actually, so, Chernobyl is Chernobyl, but owned by Cher. Oh. <laughs> Okay. You better leave your okay. life after radiation. No way. <laughs> I do, but just with multiple heads. Oh, it's I, gruesome. Okay, so say bye, Callie. Bye. All right. Wait, actually, what are you looking forward to in 2022? Um, <clears throat> getting my license and becoming a notary. And getting out of my house and moving on your own. Yes, after you adopt me, of course. The first thing is, get out! No. All right, you can leave now. Okay. Now, 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 I want to know. Who should I talk to next? Should I talk to my daughter? She looks like she wants to be talked to. Because you guys have all talked to Jack and her Jack on the podcast. I know you have because I've seen the numbers and people actually watch this. Which is really, really crazy. Because I don't want to watch myself. I don't know why you would. But anyway. So Bobby. Jean. Bobby. Jean. Oh well. Brown. Brown. She sounds about as redneck as you could be without living in, like, Alabama. I'm not that redneck. Really? You're wearing your hat backwards. Yeah, because if I don't wear a hat, then it looks like I have a mullet. (laughs) Which means you'd be a redneck. I mean, no, because I don't... (laughs) Does anyone but rednecks have mullets? You might be a redneck if Jeff Fox were to That's all right. You'll be the grandfather of my redneck son. Oh my god. Our son's not going to be a redneck. What color is your hair, Jack? (laughs) Red. What color is your neck, Jack? White. Actually, it looks pretty red in this lightning. This lightning? lightning. So, what you're saying is you wouldn't love your son if his neck turns out to be red? I would. You just said that you're a white supremacist. I did not. Cancel Jack Brown. Cancel him. I'm saying light here. We're talking to Jack. All right. So, Bobby Jean. (laughs) Bobby Jean, 2021 has been quite the year for you. I try not to. I'm trying not to swear on your on your stuff. Try not to swear, please. I'm in enough trouble without you. Okay. I feel like me just saying tripping on shrooms. Okay, so Bobby, what has happened to you that's been good this year? I got pregnant. That means you need to have a man in your life. Yeah, I have one. Where is he? <laughs> that's what I was asking myself a couple hours ago. But... Oh boy, See, this is gonna be fun. 
We're going to get this out. He started out. it. He started it. <laughs> so right now we're going to go with yes, dear. Wow. Okay. So 21 and you got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Did you find out what you were having? Yes, we are having a little boy. We are having. Okay, so you haven't disowned your husband yet. No. Nope. Okay. Have we picked out a name that is not one that I will hate? I'm not naming him Benedict. <laughs> Benedict or Melchizedek? I'm, I'm saying not naming him either. Mel what are you going to name this child? Um, well, we're in between names right now, so. He's not give, a Jason. Give me two. Jason or Alexander. Alexander Hamilton. No. His the name great. is Alexander he Hamilton. Hamilton by the time he is two can at I, least 12 times. When he's watching Four it, can charged. I correct the historical inaccuracies <laughs> in the musical form? Yes, you can. Okay, good. As long as I'm good with that. So my wife is telling me to hurry up because, you know, time is ticking and it keeps on ticking. So 2022 is coming up. Wait, first, baby reveal. You got your gender reveal. How'd you do it? Uh, we did it via lightsaber. Lightsaber, people. She's not my birth daughter, but boy... Does she have a two just like me and she likes things that I like? Her husband, eh, he's okay. I like her more. I've been That's around true. you long enough to get all of these <laughs> personality traits. What she's saying is... Is that I'm, how the Marvel came about? <laughs> what she's saying is I've messed her up. It's okay. I, I accept that from me. All right. So 2022. Yep. When is this thing supposed to come out? May 8th, Mother's Day. May 8th, Mother's Day. Now... Do I believe you're pregnant? Not until the baby's born, no. Not until the baby's out. I'm like, she's faking it, people. She's faking it. She's doing it for sympathy. All those pictures. She's faking it, so I will give her things. Oh, man, all the indecision and back pain. She's a method actor. <laughs> she's so good at her acting What do you skills? want? Your acting is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, first, you're acting like you love this man. Got prenatals and <laughs> low-dose aspirin. That's what so, I'm on. <laughs> and so the prenatals help you love this person? Most of the time? We'll go with yes. Okay. <laughs> so 2022, your son's being born, in theory. Do you think I will finally meet... More members of the Brown family in 2022. A.K.A. Um, the missing sister. No, I'm not talking about anyone in particular. No. Uh, I'd like to meet more of them. Do you think they'll come up for a visit? Yes. I love them? I don't know. Do you think Brittany would come up for a visit? It's possible. I would love for her to come up for a visit. I you know, know you would. I would let her stay in the attic for free. This is probably why she wouldn't come and up. And I will give her... I will pay for food... I will make sure she has great Wi-Fi, oh. and I'll make it dark up there so she doesn't feel like she's, you know, you know in too much light. <laughs> When's the damn food coming? <laughs> we have to go get, get it. it. You have to go get it. Oh. Watch your mouth. It's the language. Show. No, I, I've been better with my language on this than he has. I know. So I'm not saying Brittany doesn't exist. I know. I'm saying I'd like to meet her. I know. And if there's something here I can do to make it more comfortable for her, I would do that. It's really giving funny her a very been, dark attic with food. You've been in their house and you still haven't met her. I know, but it, so, so why I said that is I've been in your house, right? <laughs> yes, you have. My dog peed on your You had when your dog on you. <laughs> well, when I went to your house, your house was very dark, mm -hmm. very dim lit. It was also summer, so we're trying to keep it cool. His dad likes the um, the heat. I like the cool. Okay, so <laughs> I assume that your house was always dim lit, so I was trying to give her something that made her feel like she was more at home. Right. I was reaching out an olive branch to Brittany. Brittany. She's me not to you. listening. Me to you. Your, your mom will hear this, and she'll bring this up to you. That's Jennifer. Better. Jennifer, bring this to Brittany. Brittany, let me help you help me help you, okay? You come here. <laughs> I will feed you. <laughs> I'll find you a place. To, I'll, I'll give you a, a room all to your own with a fridge, your own bathroom. You can exist upstairs. Wow. I just need to see you for like 14 and a half seconds. This is threatening. And then you're done. I will never ask again. I promise. I mean, I'm, in theory, she could drive up here easier than when we drove down to Orlando. So, yes, it takes less it's, time. It's feasible, <laughs> Brittany. Let me let me help you. Okay, help I'm here you. for you. I'm here for you. Okay. All right. So, Bobby, yes. big thing. 2022 is your baby. Yes. Anything else going on in 2022 for you? Um, I don't know. I'm not counting on anything big because you know <coughs> I have 
focus on my child, and that's the only focus I want right now. That is a good focus. Mm-hmm. It is. About time you did you know, focus on that child that maybe might be in there. I really, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a baby in there. You're pretty, see, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure JFK is still alive. I mean, he's pretty good at kicking me around in the gut. Let's so, say, for the Kicking you so. in the gut. I thought you were going to say for JFK. <laughs> I, I did too. I, I thought she was talking, I thought she was like, I've met JFK. I was, like, no. I was in the window next to Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald mix, missed six times. Okay. All right, Jackie. Jackie. Ooh, Jackie Jackie Chan. Chan. I'm gonna I'm gonna end with my wife, so you get to come next. Oh Lordy! Oh, the Lord does need to help you. Oh yes, He does. Do I need it? Yes, you do. Are you gonna really wear a bear hat on my butt? My She's body? wearing a hat. But there's I'm no like, logos. I'm we're not sponsored by. We're not sponsored by Bear. Now it still says Bear. We're not sponsored. <laughs> you know, bear. Bear paint with the. Stop it. I was gonna put your hood up. You can't have it. Bear, we are not sponsored. I just got this hat from when I worked at Home Depot. But if you want to sponsor me, I'm here. They do for have, you. They do have good. Paint. My house has bear paint all around it. Bear it does. I was I was there when he bought it. It's withheld nine kids. It's because. withheld a lot of kids and a lot of stupid because we do a lot of stupid here. People so Jack, so stupid. Twenty twenty one's been a kind of a weird year for you too. A little odd. What is you? What is you? What is you? What is you? <laughs> what, is you? <laughs> what have you done this year that's maybe stood out? Uh, I'm going to be a father. But that you, was conceived in the year of 2021. So you had sex this year. Charlie. Yes. At least once. Yes. And and you did well. I thought this was a family podcast. It not is. a family making podcast. No, I mean it's 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 PG because I'm just saying, you know, you you and your wife. I think are, if it's to stay PG, you can only say sex two more times. Okay, I'll say it <laughs> once more times. Well, you've already said it a couple of times. So okay. You're at your limit. So you and your wife have, have are, are Wait, normally on the same on the we same have page. consummated our marriage. That's good. Three years in, it only took three years. Yeah, good, good. Mom and I are still working after twenty seven. Oh, to, it's a good habit to keep. I'm joking. We're, my <laughs> wife and I are very happy until right now. <laughs> uh, me on your podcast for the third or fourth time is what I have no idea how many times you came off. Back. One time we got banned, so it doesn't really count. Um, so Jack, mm-hmm. what is your plans for twenty twenty two? To be the best damn father I can be. Language. I'm excited. Okay, so what makes the best damn father that you can be? Well, he's got to be there for his child. Yeah, he's got to show up. Yeah, I mean, doesn't have to show up with a lot. I mean, being there is like eighty six point three percent. That's it. That's not your grading style because your grading style is always weird. But that is a national standard B. You know. You could be the greatest father out there, Jack. Just don't be like my parents. Well, wow, I'm sitting right here. I think she's talking to her biological parents. Oh, okay. Well, I don't care about that. There you go. There you go. So, showing up. Yeah. Okay. Are you worried about the child being born? Yeah. Or why? Because I worry very much. Huh? I worry I have no a lot. Idea. You worry a lot. I do. What is your biggest worry as a father? Oh, if I can just make my son proud of me. How do you think you make your children proud of you? I have no honest to God clue. So what I've learned over the years. Yes. The best way to make your children proud of you Mm. is to show up. Okay. Give effort. Yeah. And care about what they're doing with their life. I can definitely try. Do you know what all those three things do not have involved in them? Dollar signs. Yeah. Because I remember that one Christmas I made Bobby, mom and I made Bobby cry and we spent like $125. You just hurled insults at her for no, two hours. No, no, I bought her a guitar and some boots. Yeah. And she flipped out. Mm-hmm. She'll remember that forever. See, she'll remember that Does, didn't, you know? I almost because, cried this Christmas. Okay. She almost yes. cried this. And it's not about the amount of money you spend, it's. She wanted a guitar and she wanted boots, and I listened. Mm-hmm. And we couldn't get her the best guitar in the world, but we got her a guitar. Right. And we were willing to actively participate in her learning how to play the guitar. Mm-hmm. I wish she could have learned how to play it quicker because, you know, well, anyway. Um, so being a good father means listening to what your kids like. Like mm-hmm. next month, well, February, so next year, as of right now, I am going. To a JoJo Siwa concert. You are. 
And the day before, I'm going to my sports clips, my Trina, the person who does my hair, and she's going to spray color into my beard. Wow. And she's going to turn it all different colors. So I, when I go to JoJo, I have the rainbow on my beard mm-hmm. for me and Chloe, because Chloe wants me to stand out, Uncle Richard. I feel like if you just went and you just like stood in the middle glitter. of like the JoJo Siwa fan crowd in the audience, you would just stand out because you're towering over like these six and seven year olds. Wow. I'm just saying, seeing yeah. like a grown man in a JoJo Siwa concert, if he's not with the other fathers, would easily stand out, but you're going the extra step I'm, because you love your daughter. Because I love her. Yeah. Yeah, I tolerate it. Yeah, so, I mean, best case, you know, what could good happen for me to make it better is Jack could go to JoJo for me. For you, but then you can't color your beard. And then Chloe's going to be disappointed because... No, because then you get to color your beard. But she asked Uncle Richard to, anyway, to color Anyway, my beard would color better than his because his is like... Plus, this is kind of blotchy. I thought going I was going to JoJo. I have the bow. JoJo with the bobo? Yeah, but you don't have the rainbow. She wanted me to talk. She's like, you can go if you color your beard. She also wanted me to grow it out more. But the more I grow it out, people who are not listening, watching on Twitch, I'm starting to look more and more like I could be Santa in a year. Because yeah. my beard is getting very gray. Mm-hmm. And it's... It's from it's all the a nice, It's a healthy length. And it's full. It's not patchy. No, it's not patchy. I had a trim today. And the, the woman was like, didn't I just trim this two weeks ago? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you need to stop. Don't. Like, okay. Don't. All right. So, Jack, are you excited for 2022? I am. I'm also nervous. Mm-hmm. Why? About the baby. Well, ba- the baby, but also if you look past on like the past two years uh-huh. of going into a new year, it's it could be a rocky road. It could be the seventh sign of the apocalypse just happened with Betty White passing away. It could be. What would that be? I, that would be you know despair. Despair. I can I can see that. I don't know. But all right, last person's coming on right now. It is. It's your she, favorite person. She too. she has never been on a podcast with me or with anybody else that I know. Good luck, mom. She is special. She is beautiful. She is the reason that I exist on the interweb because she told me to shut up and talk to somebody else. So I did. I hate my voice. That's okay because I don't really care what you feel. It's what I feel and others feel. So people who listen on the podcast and listen online, tell her her voice sounds great because she needs it. You anyway, sound great, Mom. So, my love, Yeah. how are you? I'm here. How was your 2021? <laughs> I survived. <laughs> like you survived. Of us. So 2021 was a long year. We've had some good things happen this year. What happened good this year? We have a grandbaby on the way. That's a good thing. We had other things that happen this year. We've accumulated another child. I would say something better than Tabby. that. How? Did we go anywhere this year? Yeah, we went, we went to Brazil. We went to Brazil without any children okay. for 10 days. Yes. Okay. What else did we do? Well, we, took, we came home for a week, and yeah. we left again for two weeks with our two little ones. And where did we go with that? North Carolina to see our grandbabies, and Texas to see our children, and California to see some friends. And what else did we do in California? <laughs> we went to Disneyland. We went to Disneyland. And we just, you know, now we didn't like rack up credit card debt. We made a lot of money to pay for all this stuff doing what? Well, we had date nights. We just we didn't make a lot of money. We just we, we made enough to pay for things. We just made it enough to pay for this and land. Yes, which was we what don't want to give away our secret. That's true. We don't because if we give away our secret, other people do it, and we'll lose out on money. Exactly. But we did a we did a a side job where we made enough money to help pay for Disney. So we did. You went on welfare. That was your secret. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> no, we can't do welfare. Sorry. So what are you excited about for twenty twenty two? Couple things coming up this year. What are you excited about? I uh, start my internship finally. When in do you year. start your internship? In the new year. In like three days. Woo-hoo. Been in school for far too long. Far too to be long. Done. And what else comes up this year? I graduate from my for my master's degree for my second master's degree. Okay. Anything else coming up this year? We're going to see some friends in Virginia. Okay, what else? I know what you want me to say. What do I want you to say? Uh, 
So for Christmas, he bought me. Uh, what about your grandson? They've already talked about him. Yeah, uh. <laughs> everyone's talked about him, except for Ali. He's worth talking except about. Except for my more. nephew. All right. Um. So we have a grandchild being born. Yes. Okay. And about a week and a half later, I'll graduate. Hopefully, around. This is. It's going to be a very busy month. In yeah, but May is going to be a busy month. So May eighth ish child. Grandchild. Grandchild. May fourteenth. What do you have planned? That's your graduation date. Mm -hmm. Then what is coming up right after that? Oh, we're gonna go skydiving. Skydiving. Now, why would anyone get you skydiving? Because I have a crazy husband. Wow. <laughs> this is a family show. Yeah, I didn't say any words. You're good. You're just crazy. Now, this is coming from a trained, trained professional, right? I'm not trained professional. Well, you're trained. You just don't have a piece of paper saying you can officially call me crazy. Correct. But she's close. She's interning. to So now, she, after a short period of time and two tests that she doesn't want to take, she will be able to say, Hey, honey, you cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Give me $20. Are we sponsored? We could be. We could choose, We should try that one too. Kellogg's would love to sponsor us. Oh yeah, because they're. <laughs> that's the sponsor we want. If the people want, they'll like us. Yes. So this year, after that, we're gonna go where? After skydiving, yeah, if we, we survive, we went to Virginia, and then who knows what else we could be doing this year? I don't know. I'm scared to find out. I mean, it could be fun. Sure. I think my wife should have her own podcast, own Twitch stream, start talking about all the crazy she does. Because here's the thing, guys. For the last, like, two years, she's been painting on my window with I murals. I've been doing a mural every two weeks. Every two weeks. I took the summer off. She took some time off because we thought COVID was gone, then it came back. Um, she's painting on the windows. She's keeping my house ridiculously good. She's working full time. She deals with me full time. She goes to school full time. She deals with our daughters, our sons, our son-in-laws, our daughter-in-laws, and everybody in between because they like to call us in the middle of shopping trips to ask about, you know, vision, how glasses work. And she just keeps going. It's amazing. It's crazy time. We're also running a marriage group. Why do we forget to say that? Because it's just something small, nothing big. We don't need extra time on the side for us, right? No, of course not. No, of course not. So this year we have a lot coming up. We're gonna, we might adopt a child. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a grandchild. We are. Most likely. Bobby, let's go. Um, <laughs> our, our son's getting out of the army and moving. Mm -hmm. our, our other son hopefully is still in college and doing well. Um, grandbaby graduation, skydiving, we're going to Virginia. We might go visit our kids in New York or who knows where. Um, your puppy will be hopefully less crazy. than eh, He's calming down now. He's like a year and a half. He's less aggressive now, but he's still, you know, sometimes a little cranky. I think we're going to do good. I think Jack and Bobby, my son-in-law and daughter, are going to love having a child except for at like 2 in the morning. Yep. But that's okay. I'm already up then anyway, so. Huh? I said I'm already up at that time anyways, most days, so. At 2 a.m.? Yeah, I, I don't I sleep. I wake up every hour and a half during the night. Well, once a baby gets out of you, that should stop in theory. In theory. In theory, so. In practice, no. But tonight, we're just going to do what tonight? What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to get Chinese. Very soon. And then um, our son-in-law has a game called uh, Seven Wonders. We'll probably play that. Uh-huh. And then uh, we'll probably play some cards and listen to music. Cards and music? West Virginia. No. <laughs> Mount Mama. No. no, he's going to get it taken down. <laughs> Copyright <laughs> infringement. Yeah. No, it's fine. No, so, we'll have fun. We'll have fun. We always do, right? All right. So, I'm going to end my podcast. Oh, no, Momento. Oh, no, Momento. Oh, not for you to me. Not for me. Okay. So, podcast. Um, next week. I'll be by myself again. I know it's crazy. But, um, I know. Me doing my own podcast. It's been a couple of weeks of all these extra people. And next week, we do have be another child. We do have another child? What? <laughs> it's me. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> thank you for listening on the podcast. We'll see you in the new year.